Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple landing page in Figma. Before we get started, be sure to support the channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. Let's get started. Before designing a landing page, you should first figure out what this design is for. This web page is going to be the landing page for a photography blog. We need to think about the use case when designing. The use case for this web page is to get people to learn more about the blog and photography. So first we need to create a frame. You can create a 1920 by 1080 rectangle, which is the aspect ratio for a desktop screen. In this case, I'm gonna use the MacBook Pro. I'm gonna click and drag the image onto the frame. If you don't have your image, you can always go to File and Place Image. Or you can simply click and drag the image onto the Figma workspace. Then I'm going to actually name the frame landing page. Next thing I'm going to do is actually take the menu icon and put it in the left corner of my web page. Next thing I'm going to do is actually create a logo, which is going to say save it. I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to change the font size and the actual font. Then I'm going to place this logo in the right corner. Next thing I'm going to do is actually create a menu bar, which is going to have home, contacts and about. So I'm also going to change the color here and the font size and the actual font to Roboto. Then I'm going to click and drag it and place it where I want it to be. Then I'm going to hold Alt key and actually duplicate it. And I'm going to write contacts. Hold Alt again and duplicate it. The next thing I'm going to do is actually hold shift key, then click on the elements and click control G or command G. I'm going to go to auto layout and I'm going to change the spacing between the elements to be the same. Next thing I'm going to do is create a little rectangle and I'm going to change the corner ratio to have that soft UI look. And I'm gonna change the about to black so it has more of a contrast. After all of that, it's time to place our text. I have my text already. All of the materials that I used in this video plus additional info will be in the description box down below. And here I'm just showing you what typeface I used and font size. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. You can check out my work on Instagram where you can also message me for any additional questions. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and peace out.